Good day to you theorists and happy July 1st, 2021. We've got your cherry bomb trade in for you today. So I hope you'll take a look at it. We're looking at space or Virgin Galactic. We went from a SPAC in yesterday's trade, which by the way, did not fill for me, but went from a SPAC to space. Nice, right? SPACs in space. <laughs> It's a Muppets reference for those of you that are a little younger. Anyway, we've got on the screen here uh, the little thumbnail that helps us take a quick look at today's trade. Space has a liquidity rank of three out of four. We're going to be in the weeklies, or at least that's the trade that was sent to us in our inbox this morning from Tasty Trade. And uh, so it'll have lower liquidity in the weeklies. Its IV rank is nice and high at 57 right now. And so we're going to be looking at selling some premium. Admittedly, I find this hard for to be bullish in this particular underlying, but we're going to give it a whirl because you know what? You don't know what. That's the thing. I'm kind of that tasty trade. Who knows anything? Maybe you know something, and if you know something about why we should be bullish or bearish, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, but let's get started, shall we? Hi, everybody. My name is Neil, and this is Option Theory, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Stick around here. We're going to get that trade going in a second. We're just going to take a quick look at the market here, see what the biggest winner is right now. Overnight futures trading is natural gas, and our biggest loser is the VIX right now. With most of the major indices here uh, for the U.S. indices are in the green, except for NASDAQ, which is basically unchanged. On the right side here, I'm going to close that drawer now. We can see we've got, now it's not the right, now it's the middle. Over here, we've got the chart for uh, space, and we can see this ridiculous probability cone here. So it could go as low as it's been, or it could go higher than it. Yeah, so nobody knows, right? Kind of what I said earlier. So let's go ahead and build out today's trade. Go to the Analyze tab, go to Add Simulated Trade. We're going to type SPCE, or space, into the ticker box here. We're going to twirl open the July 30th weekly exp um, expirations options chain here with 29 days left to expiration as of today, July 1st. And then we're going to go ahead and sell the 37 put and buy the 34 put for a three wide short, three dollar wide, three wide, a three dollar wide short put vertical here, which would benefit from a drop in vol volatility should, uh, I guess, it go up more slowly than it did recently, because, wow, that was a big increase, right? I am, cue the rocket jokes. Anyway, uh, down here we can see we've got this trade built out already with one contract of each. Yours may be 10 by default, so watch out for that. All right, we're looking at a credit of $1.04. That's nice. Risking two to make one in a short premium trade. We, I feel like we're so often in debit spread, to, debit spread territory. Spreratory. That's where I was going with that one. Never have any of you. All right, let's go to the risk profile and check out our probabilities. Set the date in the top right here to the same date that you see in the bottom left, which is July 31st. And I've got my price slice set to break even. And just about every other video, I show it how to do that. It's at break even at expiration. We're looking at a 64% probability of ending up on or to the right of that gold line at expiration. Yeehaw. And so let's confirm our max loss of 196, our max profit of 104. And we have, according to Tastyworks, which I have pulled up, oh, right there, you can see it's P50 for this trade right now is 75% chance that we're going to be able to pull off. That's weird. This whole time has looked like that. Hang on now. There we go. That's better. I apologize if this entire time you've been looking at the mini version of the screen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, here we are. We're looking at that 64% probability profit, according to Thinkorswim. Uh, if I were to pull in the, uh, the confirm and send screen right now, which is why we were stuck on that other version of my window, and uh, here it is. Uh, it was 104, 196. I'm going to go ahead and throw that into my margin account. And I am half tempted to explore what I'm now going to call an iron account door. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, we just sold a short put spread. And when I look at the charts, I see this near the upper band. We're not even near the bottom band. I see where it's been most of the time. I look at the RSI that we see in Tastyworks over here. Let me get that pulled up again. I see we're up near the top. We're, it looks like we're coming down here on the MACD here. I'm ACD. 
And, uh, you know, yeah. <clears throat> I find myself wanting to be bearish on this. I don't know you, where, what your skew is on this one. So what I'm calling an iron account door is in my margin account, I've got the short put vertical. And if I my IRA account, I put the short call vertical. I've got an iron condor. It's just separated by accounts. An iron account door. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to do that, but that's kind of what I'm calling. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I, I don't love the idea because the once, if you look at the skew to the upside here, take a look. All right, we're going to go up here to what were we at 37 was a 24 de 23 delta 23 delta is all the way out here at 75 or 80 dollars so and you start getting to five dollar white strikes so what we're going to do here is we're going to go and buy the 60 and go one two three back to the 57 and we're going to sell a call vertical collect another 50 cents so that reduces our overall max loss to about $150. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at our probabilities for this one. Let's set that to break even. There it is. We're looking at a 76% probability of profit on this one. Is that really right? I think, is that, okay. I don't know about that. Maybe this is messing with it? No, it's not. Okay, so let's see what happens. All right, everybody, I'm gonna right click this trade, choose confirm and send. It says on my screen a max profit of 50, a max loss of 250. That's really not the case, because ideally we're gonna get filled uh, for a dollar uh, on the other one. So we're really taking $100 off of that max loss. Let's see what happens for my very first iron account door. If you've got a better name for it, Hit me in the chat box or yeah, the comments, all right? Go ahead and hit, oh, I'm gonna put that in the IRA. There we go, now it's officially an iron account door. Hit send. Now, we could have, uh, the nice thing about this, if you think about it is, we could be wrong on both of those trades. One's bearish, one's bullish. We could be wrong on both and be right all the way. And that's what an iron condor is. All right, cool. Thanks so much for watching this front of the video, I'm giving you a thumbs up for making it that far. If you feel like I've earned a thumbs up, there is a thumbs up down there for you to click. And uh, yeah, that's it. Short video again today because I'm not selling anything. The only thing I hope you do is subscribe someday and uh, ring that bell so you'll be notified when our videos come out. In the description, you'll find some helpful links to get you started uh, and sign up for the, to get the same trade sent to you in your inbox that we get. Until I see you in tomorrow's final cherry bomb, may the market be with you.